Folks, we have a very rare, very rare, wonderful, historic video for you that we found on Vintage Film Channel. I'm just so excited. This goes back to my youth. It's it's called uh, Coke Time with Pat Boone, but it's a musical special, and it's got all the stars of 1960. Art, what do you say about it? I, it's actually an amazing find. It's sort of like this this window of um, amazing array of stars, which we'll talk about in a moment, sort of in between the Mickey Mouse Club and the Beatles coming to America. Yeah. And you'll see in a moment. Uh, let me go over here and um, uh, let's see. I've got some magic to do here. Uh, great. So I'm going to start this. Ed Kooky Burns. Now, why he was in a musical special, I don't know. If you remember, Ed Kooky Burns was a character on 77 Sunset Strip. Is that right? Or yeah, maybe another show. Right. But I think he also did some singing along the way, you know, like Rick, Rick Nelson did, you know, and then added that onto his uh, repertoire. But here's Frankie Avalon. Oh, yeah. And uh, don't you, first of all, 1960, they're all in these uh, tennis sweaters. They're all in white. They're, this is this is Pat Boone versus the Elvis look, right? right? And everybody's clean, Annette fresh, Finichella. pre-Beatles. Yep. Because this is the look. And this was, by the way, just to remind you all, this was the rock and roll that your parents hated. Right. And by the way, and this is a variety show. So here's Don uh, Bob Denver, who played, uh, who was on the day, mainly G. Cribs on the Dobie Geller show. And then right. he, he was just a, uh, you know, like, like a personality that uh, got thrown in here. Yeah. Uh, long, long before he becomes uh, uh, lost on an island. Anita Bryant of uh, Orange Juice fame. Uh, after her singing career, she did Orange Juice ads from, out of yeah. Florida. Yeah. Sure. Um, let's see. Who's coming up next? Um, uh, maybe Frankie Avalon. Oh, well, there's Pat uh, Boone. Oh, Pat he's, Boone. The, he's the host of the whole thing. Right. But uh, what a great find this show was. I mean, I was just browsing Vintage Film Channel, which is what Art and I do every week, and to pick something to talk about, to review. But this is, first of all, it's a high-quality show, 1960. This was the top of television production. And look at the stars. Every one of these was an A-list star. They got them all together in one show. That's what's amazing about this, but also the fact that they're all so young. Right. And also, <laughs> by, by the way, uh, I believe that in Coke Time started out in the uh, – here he's doing an uh, in-show uh, commercial, uh, which we hope to do someday, having <laughs> Coca-Cola. We're available because I know oh, that yeah. Coke Time is off. But I'd be happy to drink a Coke for a couple of bucks. Yeah, I think what I think what this was all about was uh, that in the fifties they had. Uh, and that, isn't that really kind of cool? That must have set them back quite a bit. Production value. Yeah. Uh, wow. And then, um, uh, but in the fifties, I think they had a whole series of these shows hosted by Eddie Fisher. And right. I, I think he imploded along the way. Well, um, if you remember, Eddie Fisher made oh, the mistake Taylor... of cheating on Debbie Reynolds, yes. right? right? Well, despite the fact that it was with Elizabeth Taylor, he got the shit end of the stick, as they say. Right. And by 1959, a year before this show aired, Deb Eddie Fisher was bad news. Nobody would touch him. Right. But I think I think what happened was that um, uh, Coke Time tr tried to revive the series. Uh, I don't know that there were any others after this one. This is just such a magical moment yeah. in time uh, yeah. with all these stars. And they all go on to do uh, uh, in this show a series of uh, uh, skits, if you will, uh, singing together with other uh, other people in the show. Uh, let me uh, let me go down here and go, go, let's see if uh, we can go to, um, uh, let's see, here we go. Paul Anka and Annette Funicello. Oh, yeah. I mean, look, just to see the two of these together outside of Beach Blanket Bingo or whatever it was, this is right. magical. And, then, is and that stuff. Beach Blanket stuff didn't start until, what, the mid-60s. 
1965, if I'm right. not mistaken. That's so, five years ago. Again, from this is really between uh, the, uh, as we were talking about, between the Mickey Mouse Club yep. and An Age of Innocence and the Beatles, yeah. which sort of shook up the whole landscape. Uh, sure. But here they are, they're doing a nice bit together. And yeah. so if you go to, by the way, if you go to Vintage Film Channel, you'll find this. I think the easiest way to do it is type in either Coke Time or Pat Boone. And uh, you'll find this one. And it was just, uh, I actually watched it uh, most of it twice uh, because I just wanted to go back and make sure that I saw what they were doing. But it was a nice variety show. Uh, and it just, it harkens back to the early 60s uh, to um, Leave it to Beaver. I mean, that's, Leave it to Beaver was sort of like yeah, the clean cut kids down the street. And these are the clean cut kids down the street those were the days and and it's hard to believe that this was considered rock and roll right and uh, and, and a little bit racing on the show you're right. a major you're... rock and roll icon our parents uh were not very approving of this stuff yeah well you'll remember when the beatles showed up two years after this show aired two or three years later um the beatles wore ties and had jackets right and, uh, but they were today standards they were by, by today's standards, even the Beatles' hair was quite conservative. Well, by today's radical standards. Compared, radical compared to Pat Boone, you just saw. And, yeah. uh, and uh, Bobby Darren, who's about to uh, uh, make his entrance here. So yeah. it's kind of kind of fun uh, to, to see these people sort of frozen in time all in one place. It's just an eclectic group, and um, uh, this must be and the shark bites or something. Um, uh, we get sued if we uh, put on all, all those copyrighted music, uh, so we don't do <laughs> well, that. Look, uh, folks, the the bottom line is you never know what you're going to find on Vintage Film Channel. Gracie has put up thousands of old TV shows, old movies. Uh, videos from uh, educational videos and sometimes commercials, things like that. So it's really, you have to go to vin vintagefilmchannel.com and YouTube slash Vintage Film Channel. Because they have, a different, mix. Browse. They have a different mix of uh, videos in each one. And yep. uh, she also happens to have um, uh, a lot of uh, British-based movies as well, which I enjoy. Yes. So... Uh, Here's Anita Bryant in some kind of. She must. They must have built a a a uh, uh, a skit around uh, one of her songs. So that's what's yeah. going on here. Um, but it just uh, oh, a lot of phones. Uh, do you remember those phones that's got the little rotary dial on it? <laughs> uh, but, Would you do the same thing today with cell phones? I I don't quite uh, think so. I don't know the production values right there and his Maynard G. Krebs or Bob Dever. Uh, uh, Maynard G. Krebs. I, by the way, I just remembered Ed Kooky Burns' song. It was Kooky Kooky Lend Me a Comb. <laughs> and that, that was a big deal. He had he had a lot of hair and he was the teen idol. So anyway, folks, it's a great show. You gotta go see it. If you're over the age of 60, you'll appreciate this show, I think. And if you're not, just watch it because it's unbelievably historic. Anyway, we hope you've enjoyed today's selection and uh, look forward to seeing you next week when uh, two old guys are talking about vintage films. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.